Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to this media launch for Systema Bio and Native Energy. This is a really exciting day for us and a really exciting day for Ugandan farmers. After many years of building and growing our programs, that today, as the largest biogas company in Africa, we are launching our most ambitious carbon program here in Uganda. It will be our largest program ever because we won't only be providing clean cooking fuels or clean cooking technology for farmers, they will turn into the producers of their own clean energy. We're providing a technology that just makes their life better and a little bit easier uh, and gives them a chance to get ahead. It's just the beginning. Originally, this began as a farm, a farm for training people. And most of the people who came here for training lacked a lot of information. I, being a teacher, I realized that the question they're asking, the information they don't have, was supposed to be taught in schools. Then I and my wife came up with an idea that instead of teaching the old ones, why don't we solve the problem and start teaching the young ones so that they don't have problems their parents have. Uh, this uh, it's a primary school from age of three to thirteen. It's called MST Junior School. M standing for mathematics, S standing for science, and T standing for technology. First of all, the kids couldn't believe that you can get fire from the West. And we were, when it was being installed, they were asking, what is this, what is this? We told them it's a biogas. What is a biogas? What does biogas do? It cooks. Cooks? How? It can't can dunk cook. And the day we lighted it, they were amazed to see that cow dung or pig dung or waste can get fire. Can, can, we can use to heat and cook something. It is expensive to buy charcoal. It is becoming increasingly expensive to buy firewood. Sometimes in some villages where we operate, someone tells you that I can afford only one meal, not because I don't have food, but because I don't have a source of energy. Firewood and charcoal are dirty sources of energy. They generate smoke, they generate soot, which are not good for our health. The Ministry of Health in Uganda uh, established that 20,000 people die every year due to indoor pollution. One of the workable alternatives that we have is adopting the use of biogas. This one is very different from the other one. The, the first one had does a lot of work to do, but this one is easier. There is no lot of work to do on that. Uh, this system is better. The constructed type has a number of challenges. So we felt we needed to change to adopt 
a system that has already been tested, easy to install, flexible, and easy to manage. Having a formal partnership with the Systema Bio to be their agents in Uganda to supply Systema products, tested, reliable, to distribute them throughout the country. You have to feed it every day. As you feed your stomach, you have to feed that digester. The system consumes waste, generates clean energy, and at the end of the day, the effluent that comes out of the system, the biogas digester, is a high quality organic manure, which we need back in our fields. I'm, sa I'm saving and I'm earning. At the same time, I'm earning. All we sell so commodities I need. I can afford to get them. I love my biogas as I love my animals. <laughs> We want to play our role. We want Uganda to, to, stand, to, to stand out of the crowd and say, here we are, this is what we are doing in order uh, to, to, to maintain our environment, to maintain the green, to manage our soils well, to manage our water bodies well, to, you, Uganda to remain a food basket for ourselves and for the entire, for the entire global community. I'm very optimistic that if the biogas system is introduced throughout the country. It's going to solve so many challenges we've been having with firewood, charcoal, and cutting of trees. Save the environment and even save money in their pockets. This sort of technology changes people's mind, but also changes their, the way that they live, the way that they cook, and the potential that they have. So, I'm hoping that this program will have a huge impact on Ugandan farmers today, but more importantly, will make being a small holder farmer a viable profession in the future.